Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is John and I've been working with Val as a junior network engineer for one, oh, more than a year now, one year, three months. And in this video, I'll be taking you on a short vlog or a short trip to Norway as part of my Norway integration project, which involved uh, migrating about 28 clinics into Val's network infrastructure. And this typically involved removing the old equipment from the old providers and installing standardized Falk network equipment. It was a very stressful project given that I was the only one on ground and in this video I'll take you on a trip to migrate about three clinics. So come along, enjoy. For two and a half months I was coming to Copenhagen airport every week to fly to Norway. You can imagine how that is and if you're imagining what's in my suitcase whatever you guess you're probably right this is the map of the clinics we are to migrate 28 clinics all over norway and we are arriving in oslo now and this is my favorite thing to see coming down the escalator so i drag my suitcases across to the train this is a glimpse of what's inside bunch of access points couple switches lots of bubble wrap that's before i actually i was done packing network or it professionals are thinking to themselves right now why is he taking all this equipment in the suitcase well it's because i had a very very tight schedule i mean like migrations planned every day of the week in different cities so i could not depend on third parties to s deliver this equipment where i uh needed it and there's a lot of equipment and it would be too expensive to ship so i came up with the brilliant idea of bubble wrapping and marking my suitcase as fragile and taking what i need with me for the week we are now arriving in central oslo and you can see for yourself how beautiful this city is and the views incredible it's one of my favorite experiences as part of this project so i've arrived at the national theater station and i got out the wrong exit so i had to walk extra wrong, long to my hotel and we've arrived at Ryerson blue not too bad i'm only here for i think one night <laughs> and then i'm out <clears throat> my typical routine is to go get mcdonald's as soon as i arrive i ate so much mcdonald's in the two months i was on this project for because it's so cheap and norway is so expensive I felt some guilt on how much I'm spending personally on this project so I often just ate McDonald's. Next day I run across the street to get some equipment that I actually shipped there because it would be too much to take in my suitcase and um, yeah I would pick up a car from Hertz and I start driving up north to Ringabu. The car that I wanted wasn't available but they so kindly offered me uh, this Volvo which was more than enough space than i needed so perfect and with excellent excellent mileage because one thing that i hate to do is to have to stop for gas or to charge the uh, the car which is why i stay far away from electric cars because then i have to upload like 10 invoices of each charge ridiculous today i'll be migrating to clinics in ringabu and Uta. One of the perks of this project was getting to see the stunning Norwegian landscapes. Driving between the clinics, I passed through so many beautiful mountain ranges, valleys, and small cute little towns. It was like something out of a postcard. So now we've arrived at Ringabu, and this clinic is in a shared building, so many tenants. And I met with the manager, quote unquote, to show me around and what needs to be done. Thank God it was a very small clinic. and. Our routers have four ports. We use these Cisco 1111 uh, four port routers. So, and I had my power injectors, which is one of the things that I pack in my suitcases. And I installed one access point and with the power injector and <coughs> one printer and uh, patched two offices. So that was perfect. So this took more time than it should have, but <coughs> We got through. I thought SD1 was supposed to make life easier, but sometimes it just takes forever to push uh, a template. There are some weird errors and stuff that are not working. Maybe it's our infrastructure. I don't know what it is, but things were much easier when you just copy paste the DMVPN tunnel script. But we got the job done. The printer didn't give me any problems this time around. Thank God. And with that said, I started heading very late. Might I add to Uta? 
it sounds like a Nigerian city where I lived for a very long time. Now, while so far this looks like a holiday sort of experience, I can assure you it wasn't easy. I was the only engineer on site, which meant I had to handle everything from unpacking and setting up the equipment to troubleshooting any issues that came up. It was a lot of responsibility, but I guess also a great learning experience. For example, it takes two hours and 15 minutes to drive from Oslo to Ringabu. I did a migration there and didn't even have lunch and drove another two hours to Uta all in the same day. So by now it's already past 5 p.m. But I've just arrived in Uta and it's time to get to work. I start by documenting all the different outlets that are being used in each office so I know what to keep. Then I go ahead and rip out the old uh, <coughs> the old equipment and yeah I guess it's the most fun part for me taking everything out and making things much simpler because there's lots of old old equipment that nobody knows anything about here you know old end of life stuff so it's very very satisfying to get rid of all of this I think it's also worth mentioning that we have an MSP in India called HCL and they manage our IT infrastructure. So I work collaboratively with my brothers and sisters in India to get the job done here in Denmark and Norway. So once a new network is up and running, I run a few tests, test all the outlets in each office, make sure the access point SSIDs are being broadcasted, do a speed test, and last but not the least, I leave them this cute little uh, message with the new Wi-Fi password. Believe it or not, the time is 8 p.m. right now and I have arrived in my hotel at almost 9 p.m. Luckily the hotel was very nearby so I didn't have to travel anywhere again to get some rest. Now there's something very very special about this city. I, I, I can't put my finger on it yet but man it made me so emotional being here and I went for an evening run and believe it or not the time is 10 p.m. right now and just look at how green it is and quiet and peaceful. I'll just let this part play. Man, I've just been laughing for, to myself for the past three minutes or so. What is this place? Why do people exist here? Why do people settle here? It makes no sense. You know, it just makes me contemplate my own existence. I'm having an existential crisis right now. Like, for example, look at this. People have lived here all their lives. I still can't wrap my head around that. By the end of some days, I was completely exhausted. There were nights where I would get back to the hotel room and planning to review and document what I've done, but I'll just pass out instead. <laughs> hey, the next day, I was up early for a two hour drive to Ralphos to do another migration, but thank God this was the only migration planned for that day and i seem to have forgotten that i was recording a youtube video <laughs> so a lot of the clips you are about to see will be in uh, portrait sorry for that in the end these migrations were more than just a tech setup each clinic plays a big role in its community and getting them on a stable secure network means they can focus on serving their patients without any technical headaches or that sort of thing it's really really satisfying for me to know that each place I've visited now has 
better tools and a more secure network to do their work. Looking back, it was really challenging but rewarding to complete this project. Moving between the clinics, adapting on the fly and working closely with uh, our remote team was a great experience. Thank you very much all for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Hi, hi.